Hello, Royal Family. This episode is called Getting Intimate with the Kings. Um, we're going to get a little deeper into our relationships, into who we are as individuals, as well as who we are as a couple. So, um, my husband doesn't know any of these questions that I'm going to be asking, and the conversation might get a little deep. So, this might just be the first part of it, and then it could be a part two depending on how deep these questions get. Oh, so, questions? Yes. Okay, so let's cheers to our first episode of Getting Intimate with the Kings. Alright, so you know how I be with this, y'all. If you haven't watched my line Thursday, you know how I be. Now we're both gonna be answering these questions. Or, you know, vice versa. He might just answer them. I don't have to say that thing. Just be kind of are like really so mates because he can say what I'm thinking and I can say these things. So it's really weird, but it's the truth. Describe your spouse on your first date. Describe your spouse on Um, like, I guess, what did I look like? personality like what I don't know just so our first date uh, so like getting to the date part or like from the beginning like from the beginning like when I first walked up in the car like what did you all right so about? first off number one when initially when I came to pick you up you had not told me exactly which building exactly so I didn't know where you lived at, so I'm like, I'm, I'm texting you, or I called you, like, and I'm like, I'm outside, and oh, I might have texted, uh, on me, I texted, did I text? I think you texted me and said you're yeah, outside. Yeah, I, I think I said I'm outside. So anyway, if you can imagine, I'm like sitting in the parking lot, and it's like a metro bus, That's you not know what I mean, it was right, like a bus stop was right there, you know, other cars, it's like a little busy area, right? So, I'm like, okay, like four minutes had gone by, I'm like, where are you? Uh, come out, <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> you know, God, you know what I mean? But anywho, <laughs> so then all of a sudden it's like, voila, you popped out of nowhere, boom, boom. And you were at the truck, and you know, normally I would have like, wanted to get out of the car oh, and open yeah. the door for you and all that type stuff. Um, but I didn't get a chance to do that, so. Um, but when you got in the car, you know, the conversation was great. We went to the, uh... What did you think about me, like, physically? Did you think, oh, she dresses nice, oh, she's beautiful, I like her hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. we already know how we met. I didn't... You know what I mean? So... But I wasn't turned up when we met. I was you thinking, weren't, you weren't turned so up. I was really dressed nicely well, when, today. You, you weren't dressed So nice. how did you feel like But I thought nice. you were dressed nice when I met you. I, you know, you, you, thought you had on sweatpants and stuff, but you still look nice. Okay. You know what I mean? You was pretty. So I was like, you know, like, I expected you to look like you look. You look pretty. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, so when you got the car, I was like, oh, she look cute. What up, what up? You know what I mean? You know, you know. Sights up a little bit. But no, nah, I was, uh, I was. know where we were going. Right, this is not about that. This is just oh. about what you thought of me. Oh, just what I thought of you? Yes. I thought you said to me. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, so I thought you were beautiful. First time I saw you. You said describe your spouse. Okay. I thought you were beautiful. Control of the date. It wasn't like he asked me, like, okay, so where we, where do you want to go? Like I'm in the car and I'm like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. He had it 
all in control. Um, I thought that he was, even though he didn't open the door for me, I really kind of thought he was a, a perfect gentleman. You know, he asked me about the cussing cuss and the music. He looked nice. He smelled amazing. He um, held the door for me once we got to the restaurant. So I knew he was real a respectable guy, and he was real confident. He took me to the spot, no questions asked. He, you know, I just thought he was real confident. So that would describe him That's as right. confident. Why would that be confident? when they take you on a date, they don't know where to go. They're like, what you want to do? Where you want to go? Um, Who's their mother? I have no idea. What, idea. What, my mom? So I can't speak to her. That's true. But I, I try to be a gentleman. I'm not. Where was the first kiss? Whoa. I cannot remember. When you say the first kiss, do you mean the first actual kiss? Yeah, not the one where you curved to the cheek. They know about that already. Not that one. So not a cheap kiss, but a no, kiss. No, the real kiss. Lip kiss. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I cannot remember when I wrote this question down, y'all. I was like, Dang, it wasn't our first kiss. Of course it wasn't the first date. We know that story. <laughs> That's one. No. Um, it wasn't. I didn't. I didn't. But anyway. Okay. Um, I believe. that made you realize he or she was the one. How about you go? Well, you guys know, for me, it was when he had all the car doors, all the doors to his truck open for my daughters to get in. I just knew that he was showing my daughters um, how a man should treat a woman. And it just, it spoke volumes to me. So I just knew right then, I was like, yeah. And I knew when I canceled dates, <laughs> like, it wasn't no more dates after that. After our first date out, it was no more other dates for me. After that, it was like, that's it. Nobody else. And it was that from the day we, our first date, that never went on another date with the other guy. Ever. But I knew, I knew he was the one. I knew he was the one, uh, I would have to say, I always felt the connection to I always felt the connection, so I always knew that we were meant to be in each other's lives. At the moment when we first, at the moment when we first started talking, I didn't know what the reason was. I don't think that bad. However, it's time to hold.
more. So like we were talking, you know, before we really made it official, um, we, we probably was talking like maybe every month and a half. Before we like really said that we were a couple. You know what I mean? Or maybe it was during that conversation in December, which would be more like a month after we officially went out on that day. Uh-huh. It was like in December. Because it was after your birthday. Right. Right. So I think it was on that conversation. But even still, how did I know you was the one? Because I was an idiot. You know what I mean? I was an idiot and I did stupid things. And people say stupid stuff. But you still stuck with me.
someone to put their arms around you, and that's what I was going to do, and that's what I did. Um, and then, yeah, at that point, we could have we could have just said, you know, forget a wedding ceremony or whatever the case might be, and went and got married. But again, we still needed to get to know each other even more. You know what I mean? Because we were still formulating a relationship, formulating a bond. So we didn't move in with each other. You know, we still had several apartments at that point. Um, we moved in with each other two months after the engagement. That's true. Right? So then we moved in with each other. Okay? All the while, we're still getting to know each other. Okay? Now this is the true test. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're still not married. You said yes at that point. But even at that point, if it didn't work out, you could have said, you know what? Maybe not. Right. You know what I mean? But all of this taking, you know, so many years, like that's crazy, because if something happens to me, and we, we could have been working with a girlfriend for the rest of our lives, right. but if something happens to me, guess what, you don't get nothing, you're going to be, you going to be out here, you know, we didn't invest in all of this time together, but it's nothing here that the state is going to give you because you were nothing to me, right. and that's how I always look at it. Because I like my money to stay within my family. Because I like my money to stay within my family. So I don't want the state, the state of Maryland to have to figure out who did what, when, why, whatever. I don't want them to have to go looking for anybody. I don't want my money to be sitting in the banks. You know what I mean? And just sitting. But I want to know that, okay, when I divvy my money up, like right now, and my wife, she'll be taken care of. All nine of my children will be taken care of. Everyone has something. So if anything ever happens to me, it's fine. It's taken care of. And that's how, it's, that's how it should be. But if you're not married, you can't do things like that. And that's important. And that's why y'all might laugh at some of these people who get married, been married three, four, five times. Hey, it is what it is. Whatever the reason they get married for, if something happens to them, they, at least the stuff that they have on this earth is not just here and left to nobody, but somebody is going to get it. And it's just, I, I just think like that. So, I wasn't going to be engaged to this young lady for, you know, for the next 10 years because it would have just been a waste of time, a waste of her time, a waste of my time. So. How many wedding guests? Uh, did we have? Oh, oh. Yeah, I so. I think this was like 170. We're even allowed 100 weeks. No, so this is what it was. So my final tally is this. We had 100, 100 guests coming. Not including the help. Right. We had 100 guests. We invited 100 people. we were over so um a lot of people who i would have liked to have invited i didn't because it was like they were really serious with the people that were coming there you know and i um didn't invite my cousin cheryl who cheryl i think you watch this sometimes and i'm not sure because sometimes you didn't mention it but and i know you were really 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 hurt and really offended that i didn't but it was not to be charged to my heart. It was just that I, it was a real tight crunch, really tight crunch, really tight crunch. And everybody that I invited was mostly family or people that were right there, right then, at that moment. So 
it was nothing against you at all. And now I, I, I kind of regret that, that I should have squeezed you in or fit you in. And that's always on my on my heart and my mind. But trust me, it was not to be charged to my heart at all. I love everybody like that. <laughs> you may feel like if you did get an invitation, you did get an invitation. So, so I do apologize for Okay. <laughs> okay, that's called reception talk. See how much we remember about this. What was the flavor of our cake and how many tiers? I know how many tiers. It was a three tier cake. It was supposed to be square, but it ended up being round. Yes.
pay my money for something. I expect it. Grass is green, the dress is white. The two don't go together. Well, the dress was all white. Doesn't matter. Grass is green. The dress is white, off white, cream. It can be it yellow. Grass I don't yeah. care. But the whole point is, is that red carpet was supposed to be a long red carpet. Right. But that's your bad, your bad thing. My bad thing, outside of that, because of the pennies that was put into this way. However, the video of the way that was live streamed on YouTube had no sound. So I had a store full of my employees that, of course, they couldn't make the way because they were at work keeping the business going. But I'm getting married and they Showing the live stream on the TVs and the whole theater department and the mobile department. And I'm like, hey, look at Bobby and Mike, Bobby and Mike. There's no fucking sense. That was the worst. I have friends that were in California trying to tune in and Ohio to. I wouldn't even lie and be like, yeah, we best friends. We talk every day, all day long. On the phone. None of that. But we knew that when each other got married, we would be in each other's wedding. She wasn't in my first wedding. She wasn't in my first wedding. But this wedding is different. So I knew that she was going to be there. When I called her and was like, girl, I'm engaged. She was like, oh, you know I'm the maid of honor. Like, she was, she was ready. And, you know what I'm saying? She flew all the way from California. She Got her dress. You know what I mean? Like, that was the best thing that I got to see her. And I hadn't seen her in like five or six years before we got married. So it was it was great. That was the, the best thing to me. That my OG BFF got to see my baby on her. Yeah. Yeah. My best thing. I'm gonna go with it. It can only be one best thing from the way. Outside of we married your best friend and yeah, well, we, our parents already, were there. Besides all of that, that, you already know that stuff. Just something but I'm quirky gonna, that but, you thought was your best thing. But I'm gonna tell you, like, so outside of my, outside of my, my, my guys, my guys already know that. I put a post just about them on Facebook today, you know what I mean? They're my, my dogs. But, so they already know I love them. Uh, but, like outside of that, I would just say like the overall, like good time, you know what I mean, that everyone had, it was like an epic man. It was so, and everyone had a good time. The way that we thought out like every intricate detail of, you know, whether it was the transportation, Oh,
good time that everyone had at the wedding. Um, that was like, for me, the best. Um, and like I say, to this day, everyone still talks about it. our vows, you might want to be on that list. You might want to be a person that's in life. It definitely will be streamed on my YouTube channel via me. I'm streaming it. I'll have it on my YouTube channel, so. Yeah, that'll take place. Okay. Who caught the bridal bouquet and who caught the garter? Mama Marsha caught the um, bouquet. I remember that. Mama Marsha. Don. Who? Don. Who? Oh, Don! Yes, Don. He caught the. Um, <laughs> it is Father caught the garter. Yep. Yep. What's the first thing your spouse would buy if they won the lottery? When I'm talking about the lottery, I'm talking about that big million, billion, million dollar one that we just had. What was that called? The Mega Million. Okay, it's easy for me. My king would buy a whole bunch of land to make a whole community for his family. That he would put, it was like a little gated community. I imagine it like that, a gated community. And you drive in and then like somebody will have a house here. You go drive some more, to another house, and you drive house. It is all for like our kids and our parents. Um, I'm sure he will move on to our siblings, you know, have our own little community of home. That's what I think, that's what my kid would do the first thing. Okay. thing you would buy? I, I thought you said, nah, I'm sorry. Buy, you would buy land to do your yeah. stuff. Well, it's not me, it's we. Well, we. It's not you, because you my wife. Right, we're right. Bonnie and Clyde. Right, we're, we're Bonnie and Clyde. And tell people back, tell people we what. We're Bonnie and Clyde, y'all, you feel me? Yeah. First thing you would want to do? The first thing I would buy. Oh, the first thing you would buy. I don't think you would want to buy anything right off the bat. What you would do? Is, that's two different things. The question is, what would your okay, spouse what buy? Would you buy? Maybe a Porsche Cayenne. I didn't even think of that. That would be the first thing. You know why I didn't even think of that for real, for real? Like because, like that's not even, that's not even dead. So you can do that whether you win the lottery or not. You know what I mean? True. Like don't get me wrong, this is special as hell. Yeah. But it still can happen. Maybe not right away, but it still can happen. You know what I mean? So it's not, that's not a lottery yeah. thing to me. Because I need this to happen soon. I'm about to be 47. Right, but a Saturday, it doesn't matter if you're 50. Yeah, but I don't want to be 55 right, and I, with a baby. And I, and, I, and I understand that. But you, look how good you look. It doesn't matter how good. Hey, you ain't going away for a long time, Joe. You feel like, seriously, think about it. And I, you did say that about the Saturday. 
She didn't think that inwardly and didn't say anything. She said that. But again, I wasn't thinking of like that's a lottery. That could be a lottery thing because it can happen like that. Because if you get a hundred one point six billion dollars with a nine hundred and sixty three million dollar payout in your bank account like so that, next then yeah, lottery. yeah, you can do. You can make a lot of moves like that. You know what I mean? That's something that can still happen. You know what I mean? Maybe it can't happen tomorrow because you're talking about like you know, hundred some thousand dollar overall. You know. Stuff, you know, but that's still something that can happen. Who said I love you first? <laughs> Did your spouse have any pets growing up, and what were their names? Puppy. Yeah, my little dog and my baby was had salt and pepper. They were guinea pigs. Yep. And they would have babies and he would sell them so he could get more food and bedding and stuff like that. So the entrepreneur at not, such a young it's age. Not, it's not selling them, uh, it's bartering. It's called barter. Oh, barter. Barter. So what I would do is, first of all, I would call the bougie pet stores, i.e., like the one on Capitol Hill. There used to be one like number one version of Ray Barrett's. You know when you're coming across, like when you're going towards your job, uh -huh. past, before you get all the new high rise condos off, uh -huh. before you get to the third street tunnel exit. Okay. It used to be a pet store right off of the H Street exit. Like right, right down the street from the high street. And I used to love going there because what I would do is I would take the letter and I would get, uh, get this, the cedar shavings. So that was what, 11? 11, 12. 11. I didn't stay back. Um, that don't mean you stay back. I was 12. That's your little. I know, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 it's like, uh, uh, no. Uh, your birthday, uh, your birthday, 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 your Going, I had them for salt died first. Salt was the male. Salt was the male. So he was the father. He was a pretty white, white. And I, you know what? I wish back in the day we had smartphones because I would have probably took more pictures. You know what I mean? Than, than I actually had. Um, but salt was pretty. He was a pretty white complexion. And then by his eye. Pepper was like a brunette brown, and she had like light blondish brown, like almost like your color brown. Drexel is single. 
I don't even know. He might not even be single, Lord Jesus. Well, he's not married. He's not married. Um, I know where he works. I know that he doesn't drive. I think he lives in D.C. I think he lives in D.C. And they went to school together. He plays basketball really good. He got ponies here. Never, he's never been to our house. I don't, I, nothing. All right, so time Nothing. Off, time <laughs> nothing. I used to think he didn't exist, but I did see him. So, him. first off, number one, I, I can't even rebut all the things you say because I can't even rebut them. I was right with everything I said. No, you wasn't. Because, okay, so number one, Drex is a private individual. Drex lives in the city, you're correct. Trex does play basketball really well. They used to dub us Shaq and Kobe. And we're like, unstoppable. That is correct. Trex does know how to drive. He lives in the city, so he definitely needs to drive. Um, what else? I know where you work at. He does work. He does work for the New World's Greatest Retailer at the Best Buy. Um, I actually, I started working at Best Buy in 99. Drex came in my day in 2000. But they've known each other since high school. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Building and 
um, the stories that he told me about that, you know, um, looking out his window, seeing a man hit a lady, um, um, just the neighbor, I mean, what is her name, who lived upstairs? Our wedding, are you invited her? So called Miss Gloria. Yeah, Miss Gloria. Miss Gloria. Joyce lived upstairs. Miss Joyce. In Cali. In Cali. Cali. Yes, I remember all those names. Yeah. And it seemed like he had a great time where he lived and yeah. him walking to school and yeah. just the things that it's done living in that neighborhood. They lived there for a very long time. Um, and uh, yeah, it was like it seemed like it was like a family. That's what it felt like when he describes it. So yes, that's what my baby. He's saying like, yeah, like he can't imagine where I grew, where I lived at. <laughs> what street I grew up? I can tell just from the way he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he has no idea the name of the street no. that I grew up on. Let me, let me but I, but I, but honestly, I in the third grade alone, I lived in three different places. I lived in Columbus, Ohio. I lived in West Virginia, and I lived in California. I moved to California in the third grade. Um. Ohio, I don't even know if a lot of the people that are from the DMV area know that that's where I was born and raised. I don't really know much about Ohio. I don't really have a... My upbringing is California. I moved there in the third grade. So that's where all my memories, all my memories, everything is California. I do have some memories in Ohio when I lived with my grandmother when I was in the third, from the kids' garden. In like the third grade or whatever. I have a few memories there too that are, I hold dear, dear to my heart. But mostly everything, I would say, is California. So um, it would be difficult for him to decide what street I grew up on. But I have talked about this street numerous times. So eh, I would have to pick one. And, and then, you know, I lived with my, we always went to my grandma's house. So that's why I would consider the street that I grew up on, because that's where everybody was. When I lived in the place where I lived, my mom, it was more like the projects, and it was more like we weren't really allowed to go outside, even though I snuck out a lot with all the bad crowd of people. But anyway, so he probably doesn't know, but maybe if I say it, he might be like, oh, yeah. So let's see what it means. When you say California, Ohio. Yeah, I would say California. It was street that I grew up. It's, yeah, you, like, it's been like a pink point, you know what I mean, between California, Ohio, West Virginia, Ohio, kind of like, yeah, I, I, I can't, like, I can't even, I can, I can sit here and grasp the straws or put my phone behind your back and try to text me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the street that I would say that I grew up on, being that I learned a lot, I hung out a lot, would be Loretta. Loretta Street. It doesn't. So I wouldn't know. That's my grandma's house was on Loretta. She lived on the corner of Loretta. Larry Hino lived by three doors down. We had Tasha Shavies. Tasha, I know you watch. Tasha Shavies was right there across the street. It was Michael Lanier. And then we had um, Cherie. And what was her name? They were the Indian family. Cherie and her sister, they lived right across the street. Their grandmother's name was Miss Jima. Miss Jima. What street did you live on, though? Um, when we lived in the Glenwood, I lived on Jackson Street before. I I see, I remember Jackson, though. Yeah, um, then we had the house. I can't even remember what the Loretta. street that was. Loretta would be the one. That's the one that mostly, um, I, walked, I walked to school, elementary school, from my grandma's on Loretta. Honda Hills, where we rode the bikes, was up the street from my grandma's. Um, Candy and La Barbara, we used to walk to Brown's liquor store down the street, and Candy used to steal on and out like Hey, bar. We used to blow, blow up the um the seagulls with the um it's called Peter. Please don't attack my page with the um Alpha Cecil tablets. Um, Larry, Larry, you know. Oh boy, I don't know if you watched this, but remember you tried to steal the um well, you did steal the um for the Kmart the um inner tubes for the um for the bikes. <laughs> and you had them stuffed down your pants. Everybody was teasing you because you put the inner tubes down your pants. Yes, all of that. All of that was Loretta. That's where I had the most growing all my fights. Um, remember how Thea and them used to live on because they were so churchy. They always wore dresses. They all, all the time wore dresses. I used to go watch E-Man with them when it came on TV and 
part though. Like, oh my god, I remember Portia and her and my sister got in a fight and I tripped Portia as my sister could get on. Man. And then Portia mother went down there and talked to my mom. Yeah, and my mom was not having it. Donza did not play, okay? My mother did not play. But um, all that happened on Loretta. That's why I would say I had most of my upbringing. Because I went there after school. My mom worked very hard. She worked like sometimes three jobs. So I would always have to go to my grandma's house after school. So everything took place mostly right there on Loretta. That's where I got to live. Yeah. So we're going to have a part two um, coming up sometime. And just thank you guys. If there's any questions that you want to ask us, comment below. If there's um, anything you just want to know, just anything, any questions you might have, any advice you might think that my king or I might be able to help you with, comment below. And um, share the video, like the video, and give me some more subscribers, y'all. Come on now, give me some more subscribers. Um, I appreciate all y'all hanging in there with me for the long haul. video a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you can know when we're on again okay. and make sure you subscribe I know that some of y'all just watch because you think that logging on and registering I know I know I know we register so much and we log in to so much but just go ahead and log in. That way you can leave comments. Because unless you're registered, you're not going to be able to leave comments. So make sure that you register. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, you guys. Love you.